Welcome back to Park Street Station <laughs> and Fallout 4. We're back here after res after heading over actually over there to Trinity Tower to rescue Strong and Rex Goodman, and now we're heading over to Good Neighbor so we can look at so we can meet this mysterious Doctor Aman Amari chap or lady. Uh, What's that? Oh God, super mutants! I don't think we're alone. Yeah, definitely not alone. Not after someone just threw a Molotov at me. Can't hide from me. But I mean, I know um, if you do want to go that, go like do like do. Super more super mutants below me. Hmm. Oh, it's in there. Gosh. Darn it. Wait a minute. How does one get in there? What was that? What the balls? Hey, you over there? Got him. Where's the super mutant that I shot? Oh. Where is this guy? Seriously? I don't even know where he is. There he is. Now it's mine and mine alone. As I must. Oops. Wow. Those raiders met with grisly ends. Come on. There, they're done. Okay, looks like it's around this way. Yep, here we go. It's a good neighbor. There be door over here. Oh, poor settler. Oh wait, hold on, you got razor grain. Need that. Oh. The broadsider is the age would it be fun to walk around and shoot people with a portable naval cannon? <laughs> Gee, where am I gonna find this wonderful piece of technology? Do 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 okay. Hi, welcome to Good Neighbor. Well, well, well. It's the detective. Tracking down another wayward husband to his mistress? Why? Someone stand you up? Trying to, uh, what do you call it? Evasive language on me? And who are you, huh? Valentine's new dick in training? We're hiring, but, uh, I don't think you'd measure right. <laughs> We're in the same like that. You just got the look of someone who's in the market for a little insurance. Insurance? That's right. Insurance. Personal protection, like. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Nick Valentine makes a rare visit to town, and you're hassling his friend here with that extortion crap? Good to see you again, Nick. Oh, cock. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said. You soft head cock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Uh. Well, now, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, brother? Yeah, I'm all right. Fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now, don't let this incident take your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. Yeah, but we're looking for someone. Well. Hey. Juan, looks like you got something to say. Your thoughts? Always another case to close. That was all I had. Sure, sure. We wish I had more. Could have more in-depth conversations. With this his name's Fahrenheit, really. The memory den. Hello. This is what we we're going to come and see, and 
Oh, let's get in here. If if this Dr. Amari person can haul some of its memories out of a fried little piece of brain stem. And I see that probably they won't have any problems with, you know, taking something out of a cybernetic brain implant. Mr. Valentine. I thought you had forgotten about May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. <laughs> well, okay, looks like this. I'm gonna follow Nick. She's there, unauthorized personnel keep out. Uh, it's a bit tense, you know, walking into a place like this. Hands down, guns kept, guns stowed. Cool shadow. <laughs> Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Hello. You're the one who can extract memories from a brain, right? Normally, we only allow our clients to experience their own memories. Now, what's this all about? You're with vault -Tec. You need a deep dig, Amari, but it's not going to be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only Why one is the one telling them about the cybernetics? His brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this. And so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here's what I could find. It's a cybernetic What's this? implant. This isn't a brain. This is. Wait, that's ha. the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Mm, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Go on. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation since. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. What? That's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. This you really think this will work, Nick? No idea. We got a missing kid on the line. That's worth the risk. Just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. Oh, this is gonna be weird. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be bad. Are you feeling any different? A lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. What? It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. A lock? How do you lock memories? The implant is encoding all the mnemonic activity in the hippocampus. Think of it like computer encryption. And we don't have the password. Let's see. A single mind wouldn't be able to crack it. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Suddenly this is Inception? Let's do All it. Right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. You on the other side. Well, he's sitting in that one. I'm sitting in this one. Which I had gloves. Oh boy. Oh no. This is bringing back bad memories of another vault over in the capital wasteland. Oh no. Brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. 
Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Uh, this is bad. This is remind. This is bringing me back to Fallout Three. <laughs> appears to be working, although what? the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Uh, okay. That's gonna follow these neurons. This is the earliest intact memory we can find. Uh... This may prove disorienting at first. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. People are always hoping for something better. They usually end up with something worse. I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. You were from the Really? I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Hmm. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the Raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. Maybe. Mm, what a joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them safe. Connor. Connor Kellogg? Is that his name? Like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop singing you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connor. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will walk. I promise. I will let you down. Bang! You've always been my good boy. And the gun is doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There! Try that one. Ding. It's gonna be fun. I hear a kid. You'll see. The thing about happiness is you only know you had it. And it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. Huh. Focus on the petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill San people. San Francisco? 
probably been happier California. with me. Almost certainly lived longer. Like from New Vic? Oh no, that's... Come on, Sarah, you... I thought San Francisco was my chance to start fresh. That was the hot shit. The gunslinger from the hub. Rolling into town with the world at my feet. Everybody knew I was the one who shot Valdez. I could write my own ticket to any outfit in town. It all worked out pretty damn well. For a while. Huh. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. Well, maybe Kellogg wasn't such a heartless bastard that, but, that I, I thought he was. Steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know, but that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. They're probably gonna die. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. The gun, the same gun that I, I have with me. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. No. Oh. That's okay. I got it. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. This is getting us nowhere, Dr. Amari. I want to know answers and I want them now. Hello? How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. Something happened. Something got his buddy, his so-called outfit killed all dead hmm what next what next is, is that his outfit or his family hello there's always someone who wanted someone else dead sometimes just roughed up but uh, dead was usually what they wanted sometimes they thought they could cheat me that was usually only when I first arrived somewhere didn't matter to me. I just took it as part of the job. A little extra thrown in for free. I always got paid in the end. One way or another. And do you give the same memory? There was always a job for someone like me. Didn't matter what it was. Didn't matter who I was supposed to kill. Huh. Different. I got pretty good at it. I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of blends together. It was almost always a bar, though. That's universal. Suit yourself. I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. And this I ended up in Massachusetts? So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And, uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? okay. That's the way you want to do it? His cup disappeared. 
There it is again. Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek away. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. It's closer and closer to his uh, connect encounter and connection with the institute. Hmm. Hello. Hello. I'm glad you decided to meet with me. First sense weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But the institute could always make more. And kept making them better each time. They still give me the creeps, but you have to get used to them if you want to work with the Institute. Huh. So, you heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute. But I figured they were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad that ever happened. They were real, all right. They didn't know anything about operating on the surface. Relied on their synths for everything. They had the resources I needed. And I had the expertise they needed. Turned into a permanent arrangement. Which suited me just fine. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. I kinda ran out of road. Plus, I'd come to terms with life. I can tell from the receding hairline. I wasn't gonna be stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. It was just me against the world. And the world had it coming. So that's when your heart went cold, huh? You're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations. This must stop. I do Why? what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I could see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. Huh. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. System is off. Mm -hmm. Yep, he knows. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. Yep, we're running out of radio. Ah. ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Vault. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic state. Wait a minute. Suspended. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so... This one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. It's me! Not really. This is the correct memory. The eggheads never liked taking orders from a dirty, contaminated, degenerate like me. But they needed me. And I made sure they knew it. Still working. I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. But we had our orders. <laughs> Guess the old man didn't want so many loose ends. Old man? Which old man? Too bad he left alive the one person he shouldn't have. Me. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just find him. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. I found another intact... But I was memory. cocky enough to assume I could handle yeah. some... Soft, pre-war vault dweller. Even if he somehow got thawed out. Pre-war vault dweller who is conveniently in war veteran. Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If he could take me out, they won't be able to hide from him for long. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. 
I'm not saying I haven't done it, but I uh, never liked to. But yeah, I guess it did remind me of her. Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but uh, I'm still human. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. Yeah. This is the one. This is what I was watching. Open it. It's the same animations, everything. <coughs> is it over? <coughs> Do I really oh, look okay. that dumb? Almost. Everything's going to be fine. Come here. Come here, baby. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you Sean! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. All right, we're good. Wow. So that's what was really happening in there, huh? This is probably the last memory he had before I killed him. What the hell? Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. Huh. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Hi, Sean. It wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. Almost. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. Yep. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'll be back to normal business before too long. Huh. Interesting. Hello. Hello. Okay. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the Coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines. That's Pure a and simple. synth? It looks like a normal person. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. Huh. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Oops. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Hunt and kill? Huh. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. 
Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Wait, what? Okay. There's a there. Wait, uh, but teleporter? X688, ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Whoa! Teleportation Bye. technology. Wow. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Let me guess. I have to interact with the door. Oh no. I just hit the TV. Thank goodness I didn't have to do like a whole. whole, like a whole side mission bit, like in Fallout 3, just to, you know, with this stuff. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. Wait. How do you feel? Where's, where's Val? Where's Nick? Amari. Let's start over. How are you feeling? I'm okay, Doctor. Thank you. <laughs> but I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? Hmm. What do you think we should do? Um, let me think. What about that memory involving Virgil, the rogue Institute scientist? If he were alive, we have a common enemy. He might help us. I like it. The memory said the Institute tracked him to the glowing sea. But that seems crazy. A madman would think twice about going there. Hmm. Why, though? Why? I don't know. What makes the glowing sea so dangerous? The name says it all. Radiation. So much that nothing there could possibly live. Nothing pleasant. Huh. Navigating radioactive hazards is nothing new. But the glowing sea can kill a man in seconds. Ouch. That's why it doesn't make sense. Virgil fleeing into that hell. The exposure alone. Unless he has like a red suit or something. If we need to find Virgil, then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the Glowing Sea. Reason. Anti rads, bro. How do I fight that much radiation, Doctor? There are chemical compounds. Radax, Radaway. You'd need as much as you could carry. Maybe more. A sealed environment suit would be great if you could find one. Or maybe one of those suits of power armor. That. And that's why I kept that suit of power armor back in Sanctuary. I'll find a way to get through the rats. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Okay. But first. Thank you. Right, so let's 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 get the let's get the first bit of this uh, next quest started. There's Nick. Hi. Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. What? Kellogg? Is that you? What? What are you talking about? You. Feeling all right, Nick? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Huh. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. We have to head into the glowing sea. Any advice? Hmm. I'm a synth, so radiation isn't much of an issue for me, but an old suit of power armor might just be the guardian angel you're looking for. That or you could buy up all the Radex and rat away you can find from any chem dealer who's got it in stock. 
Let's get going, Nick. Been one heck of a ride so far. Let's see where it takes us next. Yeah, it'll take us to the next video. So, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like and a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for more gaming videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.